December 3rd, Sunday, 2017. It is day 318 in the Donald Trump Zionist regime. There really is no excuse for Americans to act stupid and give the country away, but today we have an excuse. Today we're going to blame it on the full moon, or more specifically, the super moon. Yes, today is the super moon, and it's going to go on for a couple months, I hear. For the next couple full moons, it's going to be a super moon. That means it's closer to Earth, it's larger, it's brighter, and of course, people are going to be doing more stupid things. You see, a super moon makes normal people act like idiots. The super moon makes morons look like imbeciles. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I can't help myself. So Donald Trump is no different than the rest of us. He acts crazy. And uh, he had to actually, I guess Billy Bush had to come up and tell him. He said, yes, Donnie. Yes, Donald. You actually did say that on the Hollywood tapes. I was there. You said it. Donald Trump is either going senile or the super moon is affecting him. Okay, more on idiots who act like morons when the supermoon comes out. Yes, that little weed that God made. God made a weed, and that means we have to persecute humans. Yes, I tell you, it's, it's really a sad country we live in. The, the beautiful thing is, it never started that way. The country did not start out acting like jackasses, persecuting people for... Smoking weed. The country never started out like that. No, it took many, many years to get jackasses in charge. And could you imagine what our founding fathers would think of all these drug laws, locking people up for simply self-medicating and hurting anybody? Again, you're not supposed to drive. You know, I know you're not supposed to drive. But our founding fathers would be rolling over in their graves if they knew what in the hell was happening now, locking people up for absolutely the most silliest things. It's insane. And our founding fathers, yes, they were Christians, real Christians. Seriously, could you imagine uh, a senator or congressman telling George Washington, George, we're going to make it illegal, make it a crime to boycott Israel. What? George Washington would laugh their, his ass off. I mean, these people, they're fake. They're fake Christians. You talk about the super moon. The how the super moon makes idiots into imbeciles. <laughs> yeah. You smoke weed, you go to jail. You boycott Israel, you go to jail. You don't do what we say, you go to jail. Mike Pence says, yeah, I'm a believer. Yes, I believe that God is going to come down and build that factory. And my friend Donald Trump, he's a believer. Donald Trump believes that God is going to come down and build that factory. Yes, B.B. told us. B.B.'s right over there in the promised land. God talks to him personally. B.B. tells us that factory, that huge factory is going to be built anytime. <laughs> oh, shit. Ha, ha, ha! God helps those who help themselves, you loser. What a bunch of goddamn knuckleheads in the Bible thumpers believe him. Yeah, Mike Pence and Donald Trump told us that God is going to help us on the Ohio River. All we got to do is wait, take our snap card, take our Section 8, self-medicate. We're going to be okay because God said we're going to be okay. Goddamn super moon. We're going to blame it on the super moon for sure. The only thing that could make a human being that dumb is a super moon. Trust me. That's how I'm going with it today. Can't help myself. Seriously, the banker pushes a button. He creates money out of thin air. He lives in the biggest mansion on the hill. He eats the, the finest lobster, drinks the finest wine. Thousand dollars for hookers as the poor people on snap card. And they say, poor people, God is going to help you. Just wait. I mean, seriously, how dumb do you have to be to watch bankers who are not even Christians, okay? Bankers who push buttons and have the whole world in their palm, and they tell you to wait and believe in Jesus. And furthermore, if you don't believe in Jesus, believe in Elon Musk, because he's going to take you to Mars, but first he's going to send his cherry deluxe Tesla Rosa. 
roadster to Mars. I mean, this is, you got to be under the influence of the supermoon if you're going to believe it's a good idea to send a midnight cherry Tesla roadster to Mars. Yes, if you think that's a good way to allocate precious resources, uh, you know, military conflicts and sending cherry Tesla roasters to Mars. If you think that's a good way to allocate your assets, well, you might want to stay indoors for the next three months. Don't get close to that super moon. I mean, don't even go out and look at it because your brain is contaminated. Talk about what else drives people crazy during the super moon. Well, I'll just throw in Bitcoin there. Well, I should, you know what? I wonder if Bit. Bubble.com is taken. I should go out and buy that domain immediately. Bit.bubble.com. Talk about other knuckleheads who are under the uh, influence of the supermoon. Yes, this should be good. Government bureaucrats. Hey, their whole lifetime, they've never made anything. They've never built anything. They've just sucked government taxpayer money for their entire goddamn life. And you know what they're going to tell me? Yes. It's that North Korean that threatens your son. Yes, son, the reason why you don't have a job in the construction business is not because you don't speak Spanish. It's No, it's because the North Koreans have all the jobs in the construction business. Yes. Just go by any housing development center. You'll notice they're speaking North Korean over there, if that's a language. Yeah, yes. I tell you, son, you gotta watch out for those damn North Koreans. They're in every neighborhood. They're in every state. Hell, if you send your daughter to San Francisco, she might even get shot on the pier. Hell, did your social security number get stolen? Is somebody using your social security number you don't even know about it? Hell yes, yeah, son. It's the North Koreans that threaten your livelihood, son. The reason why you don't have a job in a chicken factory is because that damn North Korean took your job in a chicken factory. See, I know this because I was a general in the military, yes. My pension is huge. I'm a government bureaucrat. I got top secret up to yin yang. I know everything. And now that's what I'm telling you, boy. It's the North Koreans that threaten your ass. And don't even, don't even tell me any different. I know. Look at me, son. I am the man. I'm the general. General, I am the general. Delusional? Yes. Insanity? Yeah. It took many, many, many years for these bureaucrats to get that insane. But today we're going to blame it on the super moon. What else can we blame on the super moon? Oh, this is a good one. Yes. Uh, yes, he's going to reword the law. Yes. Uh, peons that work in the government. Yes, you do as I say. What I'd like you to do is reword that new law and then make sure it excludes me. You see, I am above the law. Put it in there that Jared Kushner and BB is untouchable by the law. Just write it in there. I don't care what they say. Write it in there. It's the super moon. Trust me. Yes, and I think it's a good idea if we send that Tesla Roadster to Mars. Yes, Elon Musk, he must be part of our tribe. He's a triple citizen. Yes, Elon Musk is even better than us. He's a triple citizen. Yes, he must know what the hell he's doing sending a Tesla Roadster to Mars. And who knows, we might even get the American taxpayer to pay for it. Wouldn't that be beautiful? <laughs> Is there anybody more stupid than the American taxpayer that they're going to give their money to Elon Musk and he's going to send a cherry, beautiful, deluxe roadster to Mars as you're sitting there on the porch hoping that your snap card works at Walmart and maybe Section 8 will keep on going for a few more months. Yes, Supermoon, you're done good, Supermoon. You're done good because this world is strange, really strange. What is wrong with America today? That's pretty much something that we all can agree on. The one common denominator in America is that there is something wrong with America. Where we are split down the middle as is that we differ on what it is that's wrong with America. If you are one of the 95 million Americans who are out of the workforce, you do not have a job, or you work at McDonald's or Burger King or Walmart, well, you will agree with me. But if you work for the government, if you work for them, well, then you will not agree with me, and you might as well just turn the video off now. I demand it. If you work for the government, if you work for them, turn the damn video off now and leave. We don't want you. The people who are going to agree with me, the people who see the light, are the people who do not have a goddamn job.
They work at Burger King. They work at McDonald's. They work at Walmart. They get stepped on. It's going to take me a couple minutes to get to the moral of the story, and that is that Jared Kushner is breaking the law. But he doesn't care. You see, these people don't care. What's wrong with America is that we have Pakistani Awan brothers in Congress. What's wrong with America is that we have people who were born in Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, every goddamn country out there, and they have the positions of power in Congress, Senate. That's what's wrong with America. But if you're one of those people who work for the government, I hope you've turned the video off by now. Get the hell out of here. We don't need you. You're a traitor. Treasonous bastards. No, I want to talk to real Americans who really know what the hell's happening, who can see the light because we're on the ground picking up the breadcrumbs. It's easy for us to see what's wrong with America. I'm going to show you something you may not realize. Jim Morrison's father was a real American. When America was attacked, he wanted to do something about it. But John McCain's father countermanded his order and John McCain's father stood down. See, what's wrong with America is that our country's been taken over, but our military has stood down. I mean, what can we do? If our military stands down, what can we do? There's nothing we can do but run our mouth. That's all I'm going to do is run, uh, run my mouth, rant and rave. And the government employees will say, that guy's a lunatic. You see, what's wrong with America today is that if you work for them, if you work for a foreign power, you get promoted. Like Alex Jonestein. He gets millions and millions of hits. Highly promoted. Same thing with uh, Jim Morrison's father. Jim Morrison's father was put down. After he tried to protect America, he never got promoted. He was put down. But who was promoted? John McCain's son was promoted. So if you work for them... You will get rich, like Alex Jonestein, like John McCain Jr. You will get rich as long as you support the foreign power that has taken over our country. But if you are like Jim Morrison's father, or you're like myself, or like you're one of those 95 million Americans without a job, we have to suffer because we do not bow down to a foreign power. Quite frankly, the People in positions of power have been compromised. They are traitors. They persecute you and I. But if you are a foreigner, they will take American taxpayers' money. They will fund Google. They will put all this money into Google, Facebook, American assets, and then they will hire foreigners. Americans like you and I, we'd be damned. Stay on the ground, pick up the breadcrumbs. Until you bow down to your master, you will be nothing, you will be nobody. Okay, I'm sorry it took me so long, but this is the main story today. Jared Kushner failed to disclose his illegal activity. I mean, just about everything that Jared Kushner does is illegal. And I get it. I understand his passion. You see, he has passion for his home country of Israel. I get it. His willingness to fight and break the law for his tribe, for his country of Israel. I get his passion. That's great. I only wish that we had real Americans in positions of power who felt the same way for America, who felt the same way for Americans. But you see, the people in positions of power, they spit on America. Like I say, they bow down to a foreign power. Jared Kushner ordered... General Flynn. What I don't understand to this day, General Flynn is supposed to be such a tough general. Why did General Flynn take orders from a 36-year-old slumlord? Was it because he knew that Jared Kushner was there as a representative of B.B. Netanyahu? Was it there because General Flynn was impressed with B.B. Netanyahu, the man who rules America? And this is his representative, Jared Kushner. General Flynn disrespected Americans. General Flynn, by taking orders from a 36-year-old slumlord who has a loyalty to a foreign power, General Flynn disrespected himself, disrespected the military, disrespected his uniform, and disrespected America. 
he should hang his head and go watch the Kardashians for the rest of his life. No, we need generals who stand for America, who will not bow down to a foreign power. But that's probably a pipe dream at this point in the game. Any general or colonel who had any lick of sense, any passion for America, they were already ex expelled by Obama. And I mean, the country's been taken over. If you don't understand that by now, hit the road. Get out of here. I don't need you. I need Americans who can read between the lines and see that these people in positions of power will break the law as long as it benefits them, their tribe, in the country that they are loyal to. So this is where we're at in America today. Like I said, we all can agree on one thing. One thing we all can agree on. There's something wrong with America. So here we have a 36-year-old slumlord punk kid telling, ordering General Flynn, I want you to call up all those people. I want you to tell them to delay their vote. They have to bow down to me and BB. Don't they know who runs Congress? Don't they know who owns the Senate? Don't they know who tells Trump what to do? I mean, this kid, you see, the reason why he breaks the law so easily and doesn't give a shit because he knows that his tribe is in complete control, that he's untouchable. Jared Kushner breaks the law, commits a felony. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know the laws. He could care less about the laws, you see, because they don't have to know the law. They can break the law with impunity because they're never ever touched 99% of the time. Oh, I know. They're, they're going to sacrifice a few of the uh, suckers here recently. They're going to sacrifice Weinstein and Anthony Wheatner. They're going to sacrifice a two some chumps, but most of the ones in power will never get touched. This is what's wrong with America today, this picture here.